Yo, how is everybody doing? Sorry for the delayed video. We've had technical difficulties. This game is not being cooperative and we lost some video footage. So you might see the little continue button, but we're going to start a brand new game. But let's get to it. This is Let's Build a Zoo. It's a quaint, quaint little game about building a zoo, of course. But eventually you can start modifying DNA using, I believe, the CRISPR skip, which is a DNA splicing tool that they use to modify genomes. So we're going to follow that and we're going to create a brand new zoo that I'd like to call the Crispy Zoo. Even though it's coming the CRISPR, but yeah, let's get rid of that save and we'll start a brand new save. All right, who shall I employ to run the new zoo? You. And then the name of the zoo is going to be the Crispy. Because if we change this to CRISPR skip, <laughs> that's pretty much it is. Crispy Zoo. Actually, it's Crispy uh, Skips. Yeah, there you go. Crispy Skips. The Crispy Skips. Yeah. All right. Here's our lovely, lovely place. All right. So let's do some micromanaging. Um, so first, let's... I guess we'll have to actually start following this, but I'll move you soon enough. All kinds of requests end up here. Um, you usually get most of your requests from uh, the local inhabitants of this area and uh, our lovely investor. So Kathleen, you want us to build an enclosure? So I will build an enclosure because I have to. We'll start on this side of the map. So we're going to make this uh, 10 out. One, Two, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three. Okay, so one, two. That's the size of water station a bit, so that's where the door is gonna be. And then five. And then we just fill this up and back up. That'll be our enclosure. And this door will be, let's see. One, two, three, and that door's right there, right outside of their gate. That's what I want. Done. Build and closure. Can I move you yet? <laughs> no. Good day. I have a gift for you. Visit me and my zoo, and I'll tell you all about it. Just find the Australian map on the world map. Well, before we do that, can I move you yet? Yes, I can. Finally, geez. So you have to right click to move stuff in this game. So be aware of that. And we'll destroy that and that. Let's start making a base outline of this area first. Oh, you won't let me build yet. So I guess we will have to continue. So let's move this fella. Oh, can't move you yet. Okay. All right. So I'll move that later as well. So the reason why we're making this enclosure 10 by 5 is we're going to have a three by three area right here that I believe will be, I believe it's three by three. It could be three by four, but uh, one, two, three. No, that's fine. So three by three enclosure here where the actual keepers will watch and then allows them to watch over two areas. So you want to think about the efficiencies as you're building ahead and all these areas are 25 by 25. But of course, the two outer edges can't use. So it's a 23 by 23 grid. So let's go to Australia. Strouth. We had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month. And we just don't know what to do with them. I heard you were starting a new zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy-eared furballs. What do you say? I will definitely take some of your rabbits. Yay, we gained two rabbits. Return to the zoo, and now we will land them right there in that cage. Thank you. Yes. All right, inbound, open for business, so we can open the zoo now. Boom. Ha ha, this person will give you new tasks every day. All right, I guess we're on day one. The mayor officially opened our new zoo today. The zoo has been named Crispy Skips 
was made possible through an investment from Kathleen Kay, a renowned international business mogul. The management of the zoo said, We hope to become a huge success, bringing you to animal lovers everywhere, actually bringing joy to animal lovers everywhere, while also being financially responsible to our investors, maybe even buying them out and gaining our own independence one day. That's probably our end goal or some mid goal. But uh, we'll definitely uh, work on that as we move. So let's get out of there. All right. So we gained some shops. So let's see if I can build now. Oh, uh, yay. I can build. So let's first and foremost, let's get some. Uh, let's get some wood planks this way. This will be where the employees move. And then we want once more gray brick. So let's. Oh man. Oh well. I'll just destroy those when I have to. Okay. Uh, dirt. There we go. And from here, let's put like a whole row of wood area planks going this way. Here we go. All right, we got that up and running. Everybody seems happy in Richmond. Yeah, these guys don't have anything. Ah, there we go. Research grant. Hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research, and I am here to offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. Oh, yeah, definitely. Research is key. So... Wow, news spreads fast in this place, don't it? <laughs> Plans for a research hub in the local zoo. The zoo recently announced that they plan to construct a research hub. And once built, visitors can expect to see a constant flow of new and exciting attractions appearing in the zoo. Zoo management says that there are currently no estimates on when it will be completed. However, they reassure us that after construction... The researchers and designers will be working hard to constantly refresh the look and technology of the zoo. We spoke to the locals and uh, the reactions are mostly positive. New stuff is always exciting, says Jane, a housewife with kids. Franny, an infamous commentator on all things negative in our community, said, Why bother making new things? We have enough things in the world already. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to build ourselves a research hub right down here. There we go. Which means we got to make a nice little sidewalk for them. Because I want, I want these guys to actually, you know, be able to get to work. There. All right. We got animals up here. Right there. Definitely. Can I build the hub yet? Facilities. Storeroom. I think that's what I need, right? Stores food for your animals, yes. So, get a, st a storeroom here now. And yes, we will hire you. And then we will make a nice little grass area right here. Actually, yeah, we'll put the wood area right there. Grass area back here. And we will move the water. Can I move the water closer? I can. That looks like I can cover all the water by moving it to the center right there. Aha! Actually, that might be too far away. Let's just move those up here. There we go. Actually, that's still in the way. Uh, move this right here. That way, our janitor can just walk back and forth. Okay, so... Enclosure's all about getting things to look right. So we got water. Water, add water from here. So water basins, what they drink out of. Let's... This one at the the nice little like 
foliage off of it. So there we go. We'll have it like right there. Actually, yeah, no, we'll put it back here in that little grass area, that little dirt pile back there. That way it gives them something to drink out of. So enrichment. We need to add some enrichment. Probably the entertainment. Yeah, small ball. We'll put a, put a ball right there in the center for you guys. Actually, we'll add a couple. Nah, nah. I don't want to overload this place, so we'll just leave one ball for now. One ball might be more enough. Food supplies. Yes, they're getting food. Okay. Food supplies are filling up. So our animals should be fairly happy right now. Okay. Research is moving along. So let's talk other stuff like shops. What do I have? I got a hot dog shop. So let's, let's start working on getting ourselves some money. Let's get the first of many shops there. And ah, day one. The game saves at the end of every calendar day. Total days in the business, one profits. Oh, geez, we lost a little money, but it's probably because I kept building stuff. Four people could not fit in on your buses. One felt ticket prices was too expensive. Okay. Okay. Now we're finally up and running. I would love to start tracking your progress. If you reach 25 total customers, I will give you a small performance bonus. All right. Well, I guess that's our first thing to do. Jazz, hey there. I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. I have a small observation, though. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals. Hunger leads to starvation. Starvation leads to death. And I don't want dead animals stinking up the neighborhood. Build a storeroom for food. Franny, I've already built one. Your observation seems to be a little off. Thanks for the $100, though. Your zoo is going to become a rat-infested den of uh, disgust unless you want to hire somebody to tidy it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's work on that. All right. So let's start changing the appearance because I don't like that appearance. I like that little zoo one. And to hire a janitor, you're going to have to go through the ticket booth right here and go into park staff. Uh, we're searching for janitors because we don't have any. And to get janitors, you actually have to run recruitment campaigns along with other staff. Certain staff will automatically run through. But so we're going to open that. Um, do I want to add social media? That's $30 a day. Ooh, job portal. So social media is five hours. What if I had both? Okay, so I'm costing me $85 a day. That's fine. That, that, that'll probably get us some more applicants. Oh, geez, I already got applicants. Okay, so we got plenty of applicants now. View the applicants. Um, So Eleonora, you are hired. Ooh, yeah, you got a good work ethic and everything. All right, close the job posting. Thank you. So now we got a janitor, but we need stuff like, oh, okay. Okay, so it's a promising start to a, a new zoo, but there wasn't much animals to even see, so it's difficult to say. Your animals have a reliable and accessible uh, water source. All animals are fed. So I guess... Okay, so I guess if you get anything worse than a C, we get fined. Oh, that's nice. So we get discounts and trade offers if we get good. Mascots will receive 110 donations. 10% donations. Oh, jeez. All right, so, yeah, we, I guess we're going to have to work it up and make better stuff. But, hey, it's a brand new zoo. I'm surprised we even got, like, a C rating day one. All right, so... Build a gift shop. I need a gift shop. Okay. Um, and build a drink shop. Okay. So shops. Um. So we got gift shop. We'll put that right across the street from our other one. There we go. Hire her. And I wonder if this cola vendor counts. So. Hey, what's going on over here? Management office tasks. Oh, I got, I got plenty of stuff I finished. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, now we're trying. Now we are finally up. Okay, that's the 25 people. So good. 1500. Oh, geez, that's a lot of money. Um, hire a janitor. Yes, we already got a janitor, Franny. 
Okay, so what other stuff we have? Uh, research an item. Okay. Um, do that. So let's research. This research tree is interesting. Um, basically, you do a few things here. Um, but the first point we actually have, believe have to spend the first point first. So um, let's get some benches so they can sit down. Okay. Previews are important because this is what allows you to look around. So as you unlock, you get more. But let's say you want to figure out say I want a bin uh, uh, upgrades it's going to show me where every bin upgrade is and lampposts there they filter out so if you want to like move towards certain things you can actually get that info here so if you want more restaurant upgrades you, you should be aiming towards these bin upgrades but for now I think we'll just stick with the normal map I might work towards incinerator and recycling because I'm pretty sure if once we get more customers, we're going to have a lot of issues recycling. So let's see. Do I, desert enclosure. You might as well get this in case we get animals of desert. A cotton candy. Food shop satisfy. So that's five research camp. Buy that. Five research camp. Buy that. Floor pack. Um, shelter pack um play shelters stay in the shade increases decorations okay so i can afford that right now so let's get that so now oh subway subways are essential for larger zoos allowing your staff and visitors to quickly go from one place to another play animal enrichment <laughs> all right so let's get back to work need to actually get items i guess oh no i finished that one finish task $100 for that. All right. There are no requests from anybody. Okay. So good for now. So let's get back to work. Let's uh, destroy that and destroy that. And start adding the new stuff we got. But first, let's get some wood down here. Down here. So we can add some more like colas. And then our snacks. And then I want to. Is it under decoration? No, benches, benches. Let's get some benches here. Let's get a wood bench here so they can rest. And then up here, I want a couple of benches too. And where would I find like amenities with many? Yeah, it's green bin. There we go. What's this? Sh this is the shelter. Increases shade. Okay, so um, in case they get tired, um, add a little shelter back back here in the beginning, so they have a place to go. And here we go. So our people have places to take shade. Um, trees. There's nice trees around here. That tree is no, not there. Okay. So, ooh, everyone likes a little bit of these. Um, profit today, fourteen thirty-eight. Okay, so we need to pull more people in. Seed fund. I just invested in this business. You have various performance targets you need to hit to unlock more capital. Reach a hundred total customers. All right, we'll get a hundred total customers. Animal picture club. You know, I really love seeing animals. They bring peace and tranquility to me. I am also a member of the online animal spotting group. So we compete to get pictures of the rarest species. I don't uh, think we're supposed to take pictures at the zoo. But I just like winning on social media regardless of the realities. Anyway, you should get more animals. All right, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. All right. Let's see. So... Her diet is good. Nutrition's kind of low. When animals have enough food, then it, the food is not balanced. So interesting. So, but they're they're at a healthy weight. So, is there anything I can do to increase that storeroom? Critical food items. Oh, what's going on here? Lost puppy. A man has lost his best friend. The animal keeper told me that we have found a lost dog. 
a beautiful Labrador. Oh, look at that lovely photo. Even has a little heart on the side as a sticker. I'll hold it on. Uh, we could call the number on its collar and tell its owner. Or we can use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand the fledgling, this fledgling zoo. Why don't we dress the dog up as a lion and use it to amaze our visitors? Oh, I don't think they do want to get away with that. So what is this? Oh, it's a moral choice. So, um, no, man, the best friend's got to go home to their owner. So let's, uh, let's just spend the $50 and hold an advertisement to get them back. So we'll reject it. Your choices matter. Uh, the morality choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you use. Okay. Okay. So we'll go with that with the morale. Um, let's see. What else we got going on here? We got some. Happy animals, reliable water source, enrichment. Okay, so all pens are good. So we just need more animals. Um, I need I need more grass. That doesn't look even. <laughs> uh, grassu, thank you. Let's uh clean up the side right here. That's nice and cleaned up now. That was bothering me for a while. Um, the same thing back here. There we go. And uh, clean up these areas right here too. I want to make sure like all these buildings look like they're clean. We'll move the grass back here for now. Okay. Same thing back here. Yeah, we'll, 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 let's just do that there. It doesn't matter. Get some dirt back here. Okay, grass. We can just extend the floor that way. Okay. So I need to get some bins. So how about we do delete that plant there? Destroy that. And we'll get another trash bin up here. So that's under amenities, I believe. Yes, green bin. And here we got a bin up there, so that's good. Oh, yeah, we need grass up here, too. You know, what? let's just fill this entire area with grass. Oh, I can just color it in. Okay. We might as well clean up the zoo, because I'm pretty sure the faster we clean up, the better. Hey, we're making money back there. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, that line. All right. So that's what we got so far. Research hubs open. So what else can we do in research? Um, so I really want to go towards the incinerator because I'm pretty sure the incinerator in here is their janitor upgrades. So let's wait. We'll get cotton candy next. Anything we need? Nope. Enrichment's good. Anything we need for here? Ticket prices are good. And the hiring's good, so we're not backed up on anything. Okay. Meep, meep. <laughs> What's this? Heat maps. Okay, so that's probably just showing where everything's moving. That's fine. Uh, janitor, Eleonora, Animal Keepers, Collision. Oh, we got collision maps. Nice. So everything looks like there's not going to collide with anything because anywhere that needs to go anywhere is still good. So that's good. Uh, mascot. We don't have any mascots yet. Okay. So world map. What we got here? If we trade a brown rabbit, we get two. Looks like ducks or geese. All right. Oh, no. Goose. Geese. Yeah. So you may have heard that uh, a goose can be quite difficult. Well, let me tell you uh, that most certainly that is not the case and is in no way the reason we are trying to trade a pair of them for just one rabbit. No, not at all. Yeah, that's very suspicious. All right, what are you guys wanting over here? Oh, these are animal shelters, so we can get 
Hmm. $22. I can buy a rabbit and trade it for those geese. Yeah, let's let's rescue him. Hey, look. And then we will wait for that to be delivered. Hey, actually, an instant delivery. Nice. We have that nice little cute little thing. And now let's trade it for some geese. Okay. Boom. And trade. Oh, you're sure to be happy with these. And they possibly won't be any trouble, but I do recommend not letting your visitors get too close. Well, we're going to put them here with the other friends. There we go. Because it looks like they can coexist for now. I'll move them eventually if I have to. All right, so we got that up and running. Okay, we made a little money today, so that's good. Uh, traction rating's good. People could not fit in your buses. <laughs> I felt the ticket prices were too expensive. Is it too expensive? Are they too expensive? Because I had a check mark saying they're good. Um, yesterday, people have purchased tickets. No, everybody bought a ticket, so it looks like uh, they're happy with that five dollar price tag, ma'am. All right, so we have any new missions today? Get a hundred people, five animals. Well, we're gonna get four soon, so. A lot of people just showed up nice so what else can we get on the world map looks like you not have countered this animal so um london what do we got here we get some piggies if we get a snake okay and what do you guys want down here you guys want a snake too but we get the cute nice some cute hyenas what about down here and uh Rio de Janeiro. Okay, so we get some snakes and we find out what bird that is. Do we do we have that bird? No, we still just got rabbits. So that's just a wait for now. I have unspent research points, so let's research something new. Mm, let's get cotton candy. And that unlocks bushes, but bushes get us closer. Increased star. Oh, store capacity is good. All right. Furnace unlocks something next door. Okay. So, doing wonderfully here. We've got six hours left on that. Can we speed this up any? So, four is pause, huh? So one, two, three, four. Okay, four is pause. Okay. So, let's speed things up. Get more customers in and out of here. All right, we got some more people. If, uh, cotton candy, is that a new store we can get? Ah, uh, cotton candy shop. There we go, we'll put it right there, because I actually want to make a pathway for these people. So if they uh, they want to just move along here, hey, I think our animal just arrived. Hey, we made one hundred seven dollars yesterday. Animal keeping zones. So your animal your animal keepers are inefficient, making your animals suffer. Create work zones for better efficiency by selecting each keeper and assigning them to a place to work. Maximize efficiency by sending more experienced keepers to enclosures that are larger and further from the storehouse. Use heat maps to review your zoning. Okay. So. I would love to extend our warmest uh, welcome to you. The people of the city love... Uh, Having a zoo here, and I have personally cleared the land around your zoo for development. If you want to buy more land, expand, we are happy. So I need to expand. So we will think about that. I will think about that. So I don't even know what, what was this? Okay. Due to the growing popularity of the zoo, the mayor has uh, approved plans for expansion. All efforts have been made to reduce red tape and extend a warm welcome to the zoo. 
fast tracking the the process of buying land so as long so long as the zoo can afford it our mayor is uh, very delighted with the zoo and in and enthused by uh, the possibilities uh, that uh, the destination brings in terms of both entertainment and education i hope that we will be able to uh, get a world uh, class zoo in our area that uh, we can uh, proudly call our own she states we have we have yet to hear from the zoo management uh, team with regards to their expansion, but uh, we as assume the processes will begin in the near future. I'm probably not going to expand right away because I want to fill this land here. I'm going to finish filling this up. So God forbid <laughs> wanting to expand. So we got some ducks. We got, we got another thing. There's a VIP in the zoo. Occasionally VIPs will visit your zoo. And you will be able to interact with them by locating them and speaking to them. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, who are you? Who are you? I'm guessing you're, you're a black market dealer. Um, so animals brought from the dealer. So I can buy exotics, but let's report them to the police. Report the illegal animal trader to police. Doing so will increase my good rating. Yes. The mayor at the local, the manager at the local zoo is said to have reported an animal trader to the zoo. Traders like this one often take endangered animals away from their natural habitats and sell them to the highest bidder. The legal poaching has brought many threatened animals closer to extinction and is a very serious offense. This trader was taken into the custody and expected to serve time in prison for their crimes. Good. Increases my uh, cap, which means y'all should be happier that I uh, I work here. So, hmm, be nice. So, factories, farms, ooh, lights. Let's add some new lights because you know I took a few out already. So, add another light here, and another light. Yeah, make four fifty today. It's not bad. So same thing. Three people couldn't fit in buses. So we need to find a way to expand our buses there. Let's see. Signboard navigation. Add signs to your park. These reduce bad behavior. Stop customers from getting lost. Unlock four signboard packs. OK, that actually sounds good, but I think we're working towards incinerator. So let's head that way. A choco vendor or crop seeds for soybeans. Well, I have no idea what we're going to use them for yet. So let's go with the chocos. Okay. Food pack, nature, animal statues. All right, so I need six. So it is crisper uh, skips because there, there's a crisper spicer. So burn deceased animals to dispose of the unsightly corpses. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we want to actually go towards this. Oh, I don't I can't even afford that with morality yet. All right. So we're going to have to just work on expansion then. I guess we'll go with sign packs next. <clears throat> you may have noticed a large number of foreign investors arriving in the community recently. This is all due to our wonderful new zoo. The seed investor Kathleen Kay is hoping to get more partners on board and have managed to grab the attention of a large number of wealthy individuals. As a result, Tour buses full of international business people who want to see the zoo for themselves are arriving. Miss Lee said, This is a great opportunity for diversifying my portfolio. I can also avoid paying taxes at home by putting my monies offshore in businesses like this one. I don't really care about the ecological side of the zoo. I just need my somewhere to hide my money because I'm so rich. Oh, so that's how you're going to be using us as a scam. All right. So we got some lights there. Um, um, yeah, that's good enough for now. Likewise, what do we got going on here? Oh, OK. Do I have a new task finally? Or did I finish one? Oh, I finished 100 visitors. Let's get rid of that. There's the task. 1500 bones. Nice. Um, So I don't get any new tasks yet, but that's fine. We have a fairly clean pl place. 
Oh my god. So let's get the signboards ready because I'm pretty sure people are going to get lost. Boom. Oh, you can get ice cream next? Nice. All right. So signboards. Um, I guess uh, signboards. Um, let's get a zoom map uh, right here so they can look at the map right in front of this rest area. Uh, signs. Um, ooh. So let's put a sign right there once the game loads again. Donate to the cause. Uh, I'm thinking of opening a transport dealership to sell industrial vehicles and buses. If you would like to invest some money, I'll open an account for you to ensure you're the front of the queue when it comes to buying buses. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. How much? 500? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I can afford 500. I can't complain that they can't get on the bus, so if I buy another bus, there should be enough. So let's donate the 500. Thank you. This person has a new task, so 40 days. Okay. Unlocked buying buses at the ticket off. Okay. Thanks to investment from the local zoo, K Sawyer has opened a transport dealership. He's, he had said this, I'm so happy. Not only will I be selling buses to the zoo, they will also be selling all kinds of other industrial vehicles to people in the area. Sawyer hopes to one day expand his business to include um, his other love theme park attractions. But for now, it looks like this transport tycoon's business will uh, do fantastically well in the area. All right. So we're definitely going to get another bus after I figure out where I'm going to put these signs. Let's put the sign. Let's put the sign actually right here. Actually, have I put a sign right there? No? Okay. So we'll put a sign. Oh, geez. I can actually put that in the middle of the road, huh? We're going to put that on the side right here. There we go. That way people know where they're going. They won't get lost. Uh, put a little sign right here in front of this closure, maybe? Nah. We don't need that. Okay. So we're doing good here for now. We got plenty of animals in there. We got a nice little setup. New sales record. Cola vendor. Nice. So let's see if we can trade with anybody real quick. Um, so no to there. No to there. Not there. And not there. Okay. So we still definitely don't get have as much as we want. But let's go ahead and uh before the end of the day let's get a new transport um so how much does it cost to buy okay so we're at the end of the week so i can't buy any buses yet from looks of it i don't think unless there's a way to add them so we have a 2578 profit this week not bad i lost money today but it's probably because i kept building stuff five people could not fail in a bus i know i know your performance is to have 50 customers in one day. Only then I will give you more capital. Okay. Uh, unlock wind turbines. Okay. So I have to keep an eye on the emissions for this region. I have some advice. Why not research some alter alternative power sources? Okay. I will look into that. Kathleen, buy a bus. Thank goodness. That's what I want to do. So what we'll do is we will save that for the, uh, the next wonderful episode as we uh, continue our wonderful time at the zoo. But if you like uh, what you're seeing, hit the like. If you dislike it, hit the dislike. Um, remember to subscribe and know when I'm back. And as always, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll see you in the next one.